Hey everybody, this is Steve with Nonprofit Ally, and today I'm gonna to do a quick video about scheduling meetings. And it may not sound like an exciting topic, but I'll tell you what, if you've ever tried to schedule a meeting with your board members or members of your team, let's say you have eight members on your team, and you send out an email and you tell them, hey, let's meet Tuesday, and you get a reply, and maybe half of them can meet Tuesday. And then the other half say, well, I can meet Tuesday, but I have to meet an hour later. I have to pick up the kids. And the two others say, well, I can't meet Tuesday, but how about Wednesday or maybe Thursday? And then all of a sudden, everybody replies all to each other, and you end up with this influx of emails. Could be up to 20 with different ideas on which days work for who and what time and who can't make it. And, you, and it's very hard to track. So there is an application out there, which I'm going to show you in this video on how to make life a lot simpler for you when you are scheduling a meeting with your board members or with your team members. So here it is, enjoy. Okay folks, so this is Doodle. It's at doodle.com. It is an event or meeting planning software or scheduler. It is, um, it's free to use. There is a paid version, but the free version you'll find will likely do most everything that you need it to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going, I'm already logged in to, and this is my dashboard. I'm going to schedule a meeting with my board members. So in order to do that, I go up to here where it says schedule an event. I click on that. And here I give my event details, which here is the name. Here is the location. And a quick description of what the meeting is for can go here. And then down below, you it's pre-filled in my name and my email address. And I go next. And then at this section, you go ahead and you select the dates that you would like to have the meeting. And in my case, we're going to try to have the meeting either on the 20th, the 21st, or the 22nd. I've picked my three days, and I go ahead and I select Next. And now, for each of these days, you're going to have an opportunity to put in what time you'd like to have these meetings at, so that the people that you're inviting can select what time works best for them. So for this uh, first date, I'm going to say it's going to be at 6.30 p.m., and for and I have an option of two or three different time slots that I can use for each day, but I'm just going to allow just one for each day. So 6.30 p.m. for our Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm going to allow a, a 2 o'clock option for people to come to the meeting. And so now I have the date and the time, and the day and the time, and the day and the time for three different meetings. Well, one meeting, three different options. All right, and I go ahead and I select Next. Now you do have some other settings you can uh, set on your on your invitation to uh, come to this meeting. I'm not going to use any optional settings. I'm just going to go ahead and do the basic poll. They call it a poll. And go next. And I have the option to share these settings with anyone who has a link because they will get a link um, to this to the meeting. And uh, I'm going to only allow people who are invited to participate in this poll. And I do want to participate in this uh, poll, what they call a poll. All right, so now I select the uh, emails of the participants. I select them in here. Okay, so I just uh, posted, uh, pasted in the people I'm inviting to the meeting. And I will go to the finish page. And that's it. I've just sent out a poll or a, an invitation to a meeting. And all the people there are now getting an email from Doodle asking them to participate in the poll to select the day or dates that they'd like to go to the meeting. Now, just a real quick, they have a, a little demo on what this looks like. And I'll click over here. So basically, when you go to the link that is sent to you in the email, You'll have a page that looks similar to this. Your name will be highlighted here. And then you'll be able to select the date and the time of the meeting that you want to go to. So you can say, well, this looks works good for me, and uh, that date works for me, and those are the only two times and days that I can make it. So then you would save it, and your date and time would be saved on the poll. And then you could return to the poll, 
or the the person the administrator of the poll would uh, could go to the poll and they would see what dates that people can go to the meeting to it's a it's a great uh it's a great application so here you can see um here's the dates i actually did this twice already so i'm in there twice but uh by this you'd be able to tell like okay well this day looks good and this day looks good but obviously friday is not going to work for anybody um, and depending on how many people take this poll you'll be able to determine which day is going to work best the best thing about this is that you're not sending emails back and forth with your team uh, throughout the day with reply all, reply all, filling up your inbox with uh, just cluttering up your inbox with meeting dates and suggestions. You just, everybody goes to one spot, they click the dates, and it saves everybody's inbox the uh, from all the clutter that can can happen when you do something like this. So, so yeah, it's that simple, folks, and I, I hope that was helpful. It's a great application. It's free. Again, it's at doodle at doodle.com. Um, it's like I said, go get a free app, a free one and try it out. I, I think uh, everyone will be pretty happy with it. And it's easy because here's the thing. When I send this out, the people who participate in the poll do not have to be members of Doodle. They don't have to get an account. They don't have to sign up for anything. They just need to go here and put the dates that they're available. So the only one who needs an account with Doodle, and again, it's a free account, is the person administrating the the poll or the uh, the scheduling of the event. So... So great, give it a shot, and uh, again, I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Hey folks, well thanks for watching that video. I hope it was helpful for you. I know that I've been using Doodle for several years now, and it's, um, it's really made a difference in how efficiently we can schedule meetings with our board, with our organization. So if you liked the video, it would be great if you could uh, give us a good thumbs up, like our video, or maybe leave a comment for us. And while you're down there, you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So. Also, we do have a website called nonprofitally.com. So if you haven't visited there, you can see uh, other videos there on other applications that may help make your life easier. And we also have a blog there and our podcast, the Nonprofit Ally Podcast. So go ahead and give us a visit at nonprofitally.com. And thanks again for watching. I really hope this was helpful for you.